Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install um, Microsoft Teams client on your Raspberry Pi OS so that you will be able to join Microsoft Teams meetings and do all of that stuff all on your Raspberry Pi. So I have got a lot of comments from you guys asking how to do this. So this is like a web client basically that we're going to be installing using Snap, the Snap Store. So to start out to install it, you have to open up your terminal. And as you see, this is just normal Raspberry Pi OS. It's nothing special. So you open up your terminal. And what we're first going to type is sudo apt update. So we need to have a fresh, nice update of our system. So you're just going to hit that, and it's going to check and see if there are updates to do. So just let that go through and do its thing. So let's see. It says there are six packages that can be upgraded. So now you're just going to type sudo apt upgrade. And we're going to get a nice upgrade of our system. And when you're asked, you're going to hit Y and hit enter. So after you have a nice update of your system, we're going to type sudo apt install snap d. You're going to hit enter. And yes, I'm going to install it. I'm going to hit Y. So, like I said, we're going to be using this software called Snap Store to install this Teams client on our Raspberry Pi. So, that's why we have to install this. So, it doesn't take that long to install. So, you can just wait. And yeah, so, I mean... This thing does perform, it, it doesn't perform terribly, so I would, I think it could be used. So as you see, it's done installing. So now for it to start working, you have to reboot your system. So I'm going to type sudo reboot now, and then I'll have a, and then I'll come back. After you have rebooted your system, you're going to want to open up a terminal once more. So you're going to go over here, click the terminal icon. And now we're going to type the command that's going to install the Teams client for us. And that's going to be sudo snap install teams-4-linux. And this command will be in the description, by the way, so you could just copy it over. And just make sure it's right. Yeah, hit enter. And now it's going to start downloading the Teams client for us. And then we'll be able to launch it. After it says it's successfully been installed right here, that's what we want to see. So now let's first try launching it, and then you might notice that there is no desktop icon for it anywhere. So I'll show you guys how you can create one of those to make it work. So we're going to go teams-4-linux. That's what you're going to type in the terminal. You're going to hit enter, and it's going to give all these errors, but it actually is going to launch. You just have to be a little patient. You see, we have this little Teams icon right there. And here we go. We have our Microsoft sign-in thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign into my account, and then we'll see how it goes. So I logged in, but as you see, it says you're not on Teams yet, because that's why, I mean, I don't really use Teams, because I don't have a need for it. So that's why I... It says that, but if you did use it, you could sign in, like, if you used it for school or if you used it for work, you could sign in and it would work. Because this is just a web app. That's all it is. I mean, but it does work good, and it's nice to have, like, a desktop app. But now you probably want a app that you could launch from your app launcher. So to do that first, we're just going to quit out of it. You can just click right here and click quit. And then it's going to close right here. So... First of all, we need to go over to our Raspberry Pi logo, Preferences, Main Menu Editor. And then we're going to go over to Internet, because I would consider this an Internet app. And we're going to go New Item, and Name, I'm going to call it Teams. I mean, you can, this is all to you, so you can do whatever you want. And the command, you're going to go Teams-4-linux. 
dash Linux. Make sure to type this right. And then you probably want an image for this. So you can just go over to Google and you can Google a uh, Teams icon. And you can just pick. I mean, you don't even have to. You can pick whatever you want because this is all up to you. So let's say I like that one. I can just save that image to wherever I like. And then image, click on it. Go to what I just downloaded. I think it was this one. There we go. Teams for Linux and launch in terminal. Don't tick that because we don't need to. Click OK. And it's showing up right there. Now let's see if it does work. So click OK. Click on your Raspberry Pi logo. Internet. And as you see, you see Teams right here. If I click on that to launch, technically it should launch. So let's see if it does. And looky there. Microsoft Teams working on our Raspberry Pi OS. How cool is that? So... And wants me to sign back into my Microsoft account. And then you can just get started. And you can do all of your meetings. You can do all of that stuff from here. And supposedly, this is a new Raspberry Pi OS update that was just released a few days ago. And they've made some changes to make online meetings better. Like on their releases notes, it said that Google Meets was better. And this is also a web app. So I would think that probably would affect Google Teams too and yeah so it's looking pretty good sorry that I can't test the video because I'm not a Teams user and I just don't really do that but yeah I know a lot of you had asked me to how to get a Teams app on your Raspberry Pi OS and so I hope this tutorial helps you guys to know how to do that correctly and get a working app on your Raspberry Pi 4. So I, I, ho I just hope this video is helpful for you guys. And if it was, please hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe.